Jesus to be resolved in a pair of broken pieces. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm in the warehouse working on some appliances. Now today I'm gonna be looking at uh, a GE dryer that's giving a lot of trouble. If you put it on um, 80 minutes, it will cool down at 70 minutes. So you'll hear the buzzer, it cools down and then it doesn't work anytime after. But if you set it at like 60, it work and finish the cycle. Also, I realized that where you have the off sections on the um, on the display, the machine still works. So here is the dryer. It's a GE dryer um, with uh, the signal button, fabric here, wrinkle here. So I have it plugged in, and I'm gonna put it on the off button and see if it works it still works on the off button all right and at first i thought it was the the, the, the switch because yeah, most times they get broken and it doesn't turn but okay all right so i went ahead and i changed the switch all right um also I went ahead and changed the timer. This is the old timer that's here. Everything is separate. This is the old timer that's here. And I changed the timer so I have a brand new timer and I'm having the same problem. Now, if I, if I try to put it at 80, all right, and put it, put it at 80, 80 is just gonna run for a few minutes then the buzzer is gonna come on which indicates um, cool down that buzzer works at cooling down so the buzzer will just sound and then it cuts off at 70 and it doesn't go back on any at all it's a brand new timer um, a brand new knob so I'm trying to figure out exactly what is wrong with it I'm not sure if persons before if something was changed I checked the model number check this top part here is it is the correct one um, I also I'm checking the wiring diagram that's where I'm at to see exactly what's causing this this thing right here for it to cut off during 70 seconds. So I'm gonna just let you guys see that it's gonna run for about 10 minutes and then cut off. All right, so as we can see, when this extra care uh, wrinkle 
arm care button switches is turned on, the buzzer comes on, all right? And it's supposed to cool down at whatever cycle it is on, usually 10 minutes before, before it shuts off. But now with this off, it still shuts off. It's all right guys, so upon doing further checks, I realized that this knob that I was sold at the appliance parts store is the incorrect knob. Going to my, um, the, the parts diagram and the part number I checked, it doesn't look anything like this. It looks like this. But the problem is that because this um, switch or knob is what look, it looks like over this side. But this is actually the part number that they, that um, is on the um, on the diagram. But they gave me this instead because this is like a a, a a new one and it's a generic one. They they just use it to um, for all the older models. So upon checking, I realized that they are different in terms of the alignment. So if I have both of them in the um, 90 degree position, you can see that both of them, they are totally different. So I am going to try this knob now, this one, to see exactly what happens. All right. So it's that off, all right, off position. So if I should put it at 80. I can also advance through the cyclist and see, see where it stopped. Stopped right there, right? Stops right there. As we saw with the repair, it should have been a simple repair, but because I had the wrong knob, I went ahead and bought a timer, which I didn't have to because I didn't look, you know, at the, um, the part number and a picture of the part number, which is very important. So guys, always remember, you know, whenever you're, you're, you're ordering parts, make sure that they actually look like the part that is supposed to, to be there, you know, the part numbers and, um, and, and a picture. I usually Google the part number, Google the picture, um, but this time I don't know what happened. But I learned something today. Yeah, I won't ever forget that. All right, guys. So take care.